Fellow Zambians, I have called this press briefing following the happenings in the Patriotic Front Party and the ongoing nomination process of elections. Let me begin by thanking my wife for the support and love that she has shown in this period, my children for their support and the laughter we have shared, the church, various bishops, reverends, priests, apostles and fellow Christians who have been praying with me for their support, advice and prayers. I am truly grateful for this. I also want to thank the ordinary Zambians, senior citizens, men and women, businessmen, youths and voters for their support and moral encouragement. Countrymen and women, my team and I have over the past few days been inundated with messages and calls as to whether I would file my nominations as PF president for the forthcoming general conference. I want to state to the nation that I have decided not to lodge my application despite being a member of the Patriotic Front in good standing for the following reasons. I have stated on several occasions and on different platforms the importance of adhering to the rule of law. I maintain that my older brother, the President, Edgar Chagwalungu, is not eligible to stand as Republican President and as a lawyer he knows this. He has held the office of President twice, having been elected two times. There is no third term in our Constitution, the Republican Constitution. I say this because the PF Constitution clearly says that the person who is elected at the conference must also qualify to run under the Republican Constitution. The President has therefore, by filing his nomination, set in motion the first step in his attempt to defile the Republican Constitution. The PF Constitution and the Constitution must always be in tandem together. In 2014, we elected Edgar Chagwalungu as party president. He therefore stood in 2015 as our candidate and stood again in 2016 as our candidate. He can't stand again. Because of my strong belief in the rule of law and the respect of both the party and the Republican constitutions, I do not want to be part and parcel of an election that is against the law. Secondly, the Central Committee that purported to endorse the candidature of Edgar Chagolungu as the sole candidate is an illegal Central Committee. The Central Committee was formally elected in 2011. Their mandate came to an end in 2016. I raised that issue in 2016, that the mandate of the Central Committee had come to an end, and we should have held an extraordinary general conference to elect and renew the mandate of the Central Committee. This did not happen. In fact, I was called names and I was, rebelled, I was labeled a rebel of the party. We should have held that extra conf ordinary conference so that we mandate the Central Committee to do what they purport to do now. This Central Committee 
is comprised of members who have been appointed and nominated by one person, the president. Now, just stop and think with me. This is the person who gives you a position to hold in the Central Committee. The same person now says, says to you, endorse me, and you endorse him. Are we playing childish games here? This is a democratic process which must be respected in the highest order. How can they claim to represent the party when they were not elected by the party? They were nominated and appointed by the same person who they are endorsing. In law, these are agents or surrogates of the same president who they are endorsing. There is no central committee to talk about. Thirdly, the nomination process was undemocratic. I am aware that the Secretary General of the party was not at the Secretariat yesterday. I know that. Secondly, I know that there were hired thugs, cadres, and other criminal elements positioned at the Secretariat me if I ventured to go at the Secretariat. I have also got friends in the Patriotic Front. We were on the phone, we were talking, we know these things. Fellow Zambians, our democracy has been compromised and taken for a ride. I refuse to be part of lawlessness. Out of principle, I have refused to be part and parcel of this undemocratic process. I have also refused to engage in violence and have innocent blood spilt in the name of a party election, which is undemocratic and a sham. To you, my supporters, I urge you to continue doing what we are doing, continue mobilizing, and know that very soon, a signal will be given to you. A very big signal will be given to you. We should be ready to change the game and change some players. My names are Kelvin Fubebwari and I am running for president and I thank you. Thank you very much.